everybody welcome back to my channel i'm danielle and this is going to be a come book shopping with me it's been a little bit since i've done one of these and i also have zach with me Hi. he's going to be filming one of these as well but on for his channel so you'll see what i get here and then what he gets well over there so go subscribe to him subscribe to me and let's go hang out at the bookstore section and I haven't found anything that I want. What about you? Kind of the same. The, it's very picked over. We took a whole clip um, showing everything that's in the horror section but nothing that I'm super interested in. Right? Yeah, no, nothing I'm really seeing either. Especially since we're doing that bookstore thing for us. Pango? Um, yeah, Pango. I don't know why I can't remember the name, but um, there's just nothing that really looks intriguing, so yeah. it is what it is. Um, a lot of the king is like same old, same old, and a lot of what there's nothing really like unique here. It's mainly just the same authors you see all the time. We're in a hash price books. So I didn't mention that at the beginning of my clip. <laughs> yeah, Barnes but you could probably snacks. tell. Barnes and Noble snacks. Just found an Eyes of the Dragon with the scaly kind of feel on the cover. So maybe I did find something. Ooh, I've been wanting that. From the author of Jaws in hardcover. That's like, that's it, man. I've been looking for that. <laughs> no, they actually don't have an it here. That's pretty surprising. Shut up. <laughs> Yay, I've been wanting that. That's so exciting. Well, we'll have to see. Ooh, here's another one. Beast. I don't know anything about this. We'll have to see what else we can find. So, we'll show you and take you along with, so. Just maybe found the strangest book. 50 Celebrity Hauntings. There's the back of it if you want to read that. I will not be getting this, but I've literally never seen them before. Strange. great chance I could walk out of here with a good amount of books. First up, The Last Thing to Burn by Will Dean. I haven't heard much about this, but I've seen it going around. It says, a woman held captive is willing to risk her, her risk everything to save herself. Her unborn, unborn child and her captor's latest victim. This drop dead gorgeous thriller. It's a possibility. Next. The Perfect Daughter by DJ Palmer. I read, what was the last one? The New Husband and really liked that. It's kind of my like sleeper hit book that no one talks about, but I really enjoy. So 
this is one of the newer ones by this author and I've been wanting to read it, so possibility. Next up, a new release. The Last to Vanish by Megan Miranda. Um, let's see here. A gripping and propulsive thriller about a string of vanishings in a mountain resort town. That's all I know about it. Cool. I haven't heard much about this, um, and I'm okay with that because thrillers, I don't really want to know a whole lot. But that's a newer release. Possibility. Next up, The Echo Life by Sarah Gailey. This one says, um, I'm embarrassed still by how long it took me to notice. Everything was right there in the open, right there in front of me, but it still took me so long to see the person I had married. It took me so long to hate him. Sounds so good. Short. Sweet. Possibility. The last one I've heard literally nothing about. Mmm. Nothing in this quiet neighborhood is as it seems. No one peeking from behind the curtains of their homes can be trusted. And the worst is yet to come because T David isn't the only one who will die. I've never heard anything about it, but interested in possibility. We made it out of Half Price Books. We're heading home now, but we're gonna stop for a little treat. So I figured I'd show you that in my vlog here. And then when we get home, I'll show you the books that I picked out because in there I showed you the books I was choosing between. So I did not get all of them. I had a restraint. So yeah, I'll show you those when we get home. I'll take you to the treat place. And yeah, let's, uh, Let's go get a treat. <laughs> All right, the place we went to to get a treat was very, very busy, which I kind of thought it might be, but we ended up getting a ah, crumble cookie. We don't have one by our house, and we went to a different half price books than the one that's by our house. So we're like, why not stop in and get a treat? I was going to see if I could grab the books we got, but I might need to wait until we get home which was the original plan but Zach had to run in to this place to grab something so I guess we'll see you back at the house all right we made it back home and I ended up with three books the first one I ended up getting was The Last Thing to Burn by Will Dean and this one was the one that said a woman held captive is willing to risk herself Nope, is willing to risk everything to save herself, her unborn child, and her captor's latest victim in this drop-dead gorgeous thriller. Looks like it's set on an isolated farm in the United Kingdom. Love it. I haven't heard anything about this book, but I was intrigued by the cover. I was intrigued by the length. It's 230 pages. I mean, what more can you ask for from a thriller? So that was the first one I got. And then I got... The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. The sticker didn't come out very nicely on this one, but that's okay. I've heard mixed reviews for this one, and I don't entirely know what this one is about, except for what I read um, in the store. I can read it one more time. I'm embarrassed still by how long it took me to notice. Everything was right there in the open, right there in front of me, but it still took me so long to see the person I had married. It took me so long to hate him interesting and this one is another short one this one looks like it's going to be under 250 pages so we love that so there you have the echo wife by sarah gailey i got sarah gailey's new release this year what was it called just like home yeah 
So I guess I should start reading some of those. And then the other one I got was The Perfect Daughter. This is the one where I said I read um, their last release. I think it was their last one. The New Husband. Oh, no. This one was technically their last release. I read the release before that. I think the like 2021 or something. Um, and this one says a thriller that explores the truth or lies behind a teenage girl's multiple personality disorder. This one's a little bit long, but well, it feels long. It's actually, yeah, almost 400 pages. So those are the three books that I got. Like I said, You'll have to check out Zach's video to see what books he picked, but there is my haul, and thank you so much for watching, and here you go. There's my haul, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!